Yeah, what's up? It's actually Chris with a more in-depth review on the Scuff Vantage 2 Wired Wireless Controller. Okay, I'm going to start with the bad things first. To have it um, using a USB headset, well not USB, a wired headset, you have to be plugged in USB. I don't like that. Second thing is I was not able to put the digital triggers which is a trigger system that you can shoot a lot faster than the first person shooters because it's just a click instead of this mushy feeling. And the reason I was not able to do that is because I got the uh, Black Ops 4 edition, which is most likely a limited edition, which comes preset the way they want you to have it. And other than that, I have no problems with this controller. These... Um, feels better than the DualShock 4 controller. They give you two sets of these, concave and dome. The material is cheaper, but it's going to feel way better. You're going to like it. The buttons are clicky. That's a big up one on the DualShock 4, the share button. And this is very, very clicky to touch. And it also comes with um, the touchpad in the middle, just like the DualShock 4, which is also a good thing. The triggers comes with two sets of trigger covers, black and silver. The black ones are long, the silver ones are short. I keep the silver ones on because the black ones is always coming off. And to the, the trigger control system they have on this one is um, a mechanical operation. You have to put the Allen key in here. Uh, um. You're not going to see. Oh, yes, you see it perfectly. Fantastic. You put the Allen key in there, and I'll show you the Allen key. Small device. You put that in there, and you screw it from left to right. Right, if you want to tighten it, and left, if you want to loosen it. I don't really want to mess with my settings. I got the sweet spot right now, if you know what I'm talking about. And... The faceplate also comes off. I can show you about that too. I'm just gonna put this trigger back on. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna put this trigger back on since I was just a hassle. Okay, so you can actually take the faceplate off of this and boom. Oh no, okay. And you can see the modules in there, the rumble pack modules, you can take that out. So the remote is fully customizable the way you want it. Like I said, the only thing I could not customize was the digital triggers. And it's all right because, you know what I mean, this is the first time I'm getting a pro controller. And sometimes I do play racing games. I.e., what I'm saying is that for racing games, the digital triggers is not good because you can't um, control your speed. Because it's just one click instead of the mushy feeling like that you usually get from the L2 and R2. Um, I'm going to do a... Uh, updated updated review in about six months when I get a second professional controller most likely it would be evil or scuff and I'm thinking about uh, customizing it from the ground up with digital triggers unless of course they have the modern warfare edition <laughs> oh wish I have to get that I'm, I just love Call of Duty so I would love to collect all the remotes I don't know if I'm gonna have money for two buy one fully customizable from the ground up and one modern warfare, we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, it's definitely a good controller. Is it worth two hundred dollars? I really think it is. But it's just everyone you have a different opinion, so I'm not really sure what you might feel. But this was worth it. All right. So this is Axis Chris, and I'm out of here.